After Sweden joins NATO, it will be possible to reach St. Petersburg by sea only through the narrow waters controlled by the alliance. NATO's reinforcement of Sweden's submarine fleet, which is considered a symbol of stealth and strength, creates serious problems for Russia in the Baltic region. After the kingdom joins the alliance, it will be possible to reach St. Petersburg by sea only through the narrow waters controlled by the forces of the bloc. This is stated in the material voice of America. So this really creates an obstacle to access to St. Petersburg, which is strategically very, very important," comments former U.S. ambassador to the North Atlantic Alliance Kurt Volker. Frederick Linden, commander of Sweden's first submarine flotilla, describes the Baltic Sea in five words. Limited, discouraged, disputed, congested and cluttered. For his part, Volker notes that Swedish submariners know these waters better, and their submarines are more adaptable to operating in the Baltic Sea. In the US, we tend to have deep-sea submarines with a lot of nuclear power, very quiet and roomy. They often carry nuclear weapons. What the Swedes have is more tailored to their geographic location. The vessels themselves are smaller and suitable for shallow waters, the diplomat explained. Sweden's three advanced Gotland-class submarines will be joined by two next-generation A-26 submarines by early next decade which analysts say are among the most advanced conventional, non-nuclear, subs ever built. Sweden notes that its newest submarines will have features that will allow them to protect pipelines and other critical subsea infrastructure even better. The problem is particularly acute after last year's explosions on the Nord Stream pipeline. Subscribe to the channel and give us a like to keep up with the latest updates and support our content. Thank you for your attention and until new videos.